What is going on, guys? Mobile Care News here. I'm doing a speed test. It's literally five minutes from my work. Um, this area is still very congested. Um, don't get much download speed. Um, at first, I thought it was deprioritization, but uh, that's not the case. That is a bad ping and jitter. This area is very congested in the morning. It cools off. like it, Like, the speeds go back to normal from 30 to, like, 40 megabytes per second at night. You know, because everyone's gone, they're going home, their work is over. But, yeah, um, these are the speeds I've been getting lately. Um, like I said, could be congestion, deprioritization. I think it's congestion. Um, I keep running the same speed test every day. I try to go to some other areas, but I don't want to go too far from work because I, you know, should break it short. Uh, the, it try, yeah, the, yeah, it gets a pretty really bad ping in milliseconds. Just doing that. But I will do a speed test in this location in about maybe six to seven months from now. Because in about not this week, but next week, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going to my new job. My new job is going to be in like an um basically like kinda like an office, but with customer service base basically. So the area's gonna have more five G and more LTE. I'm gonna speed test here. And yeah, it's going to have more 5G, more LTE in that area. It's going to be literally a five-minute drive, uh, ten, uh, five-minute walk from my, from my house, from my apartment, actually. So, yeah, it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be – it's gonna be, I'm going to have to do better speed tests in that area. And does it, will it get congested? Yeah, it, I think – might, it honestly might get congested because I see a lot of people down there too, especially on Friday nights and Saturday. So we'll see how congestion deals with that. It's also going to be closer to the beach, so that's a good. That's another good end on that one. At least in my opinion, that's pretty good. Um, I'm so curious how C-band will fix all of this. Well, I'm curious how C-band will, will work on this all in general, because where I live, there's a. Um, I don't get good. I, I I don't get 5G in the living room, and LTE is pretty weak. So. Well, see how C band. I, I'm no. I know C band will help that out for sure. In this area, right too, that I'm doing a speed test. It would C band will definitely help out as well. Um, I'm trying to think here. I, I, I I'm trying to think. Like, will deprior deprior uh, will deprioritization still be an issue with C band? Because C bands uh, basically, it's what it's what more spectrum, better latency, I believe. I haven't had time to do that much research on spe on, on C band, but I know it's a huge ouch, that is a bad ping and jitter. I know it's a big I know it's like a huge topic for Verizon and AT and T. But will will, will deprioritization still be the same or will it be different? Like I'm so curious to to know how it will go down when it's finally, you know, rele released by Verizon and AT and T. Even though I don't have AT and T to do speed tests, I do want to get them eventually. So I'm very curious to see how my results will do. Um, the good news is today's my last day, not uh, not from work. Today's my last day that my bill cycle uh, will be um, uh, resetted. So like I've used about 130 gigabytes of data, and I've been slowed down dramatically. So I'm either debating between using less data now, so I don't, so I'm not slowed down, or just keep going above and beyond. Because 50, big, 50 gigabytes of data to use is honestly just ridiculous in my opinion. And I don't know. I'm just, I've am just just always been a heavy data user. And uh, I just, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, uh, how do I explain this? I'm literally that 0.1% that uses a lot of data. I, I, I don't know. I just like using a lot of data. I, uh, I only use Wi-Fi to back up my iPhone. And I just hope Verizon uh, eventually, and this is going to fail. I have no, I saw this coming. It's fine. I'll try to run, run another speed test here. It's literally failed. Um, I'm saying it, I'm saying it, it's, uh, I'm saying it's congested the way it did this. It's just congested. So let's run the speed test again. So I'm curious. Like I, I keep hearing from my subscribers and other people, yeah, we're probably going to get a new unlimited data plan in about a year or two. Can I wait? Yeah, I can. 
it's just, you know, being deprioritized is just, I, I really don't like it. Um, but I got to deal with it. I could go to AT&T, but I don't want to. Even though AT&T has good coverage like Verizon, but, you know, Verizon is just, you know, better than AT&T. The, the thing about AT&T, though, they have better speeds. So it's it's pretty, it's like a trade-off. It's an, inter- it's an interesting yet weird trade-off that AT&T has the speeds and Verizon has the coverage. It'd be funny if that was reversed, honestly. It'd be hilarious. But let, me know, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think CBAM will change all will change all people who are deprioritized? Or do you think it do you think it will have massive impact on overrising customers? With the release of CBAN, do you guys think that this will make Verizon come out with a new unlimited data plan? Because I don't know if CBAN will help with deprioritization. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm very curious to see how this will play out. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be posting more videos soon, guys. I've just been really busy with work and just other stuff I got to take care of. With this new job coming up. It's not really stressful. It's just I got to prepare for this new job. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'll be posting a new, a new video soon, especially on how many subscribers which uh, each have, which have the most subscribers. That will be an interesting video to, to, to post. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the post notifications whenever I start making new videos. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.